Founded in 1890, Borgward was standing at the roots of German automaking and was among the most popular premium brands in the middle of the 20th century. Following controversial insolvency proceedings, this company had ceased operations for a long 54 years period until being resurrected with the funds provided by the Chinese truck manufacturer Photon. Today, the designing and marketing divisions are headquartered in Stuttgart, while production is taking place in China. In this episode of Automotive Territory Daily News, we will cover the modern lineup by Borgward, which includes a solid selection of SUVs with new electrified models in the making. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to be informed about all of the car news. Ring the bell and let's start the engines! Borgward BX7 This is the first production model by Borgward that broke cover at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2015 as a rifle to other German midsize SUVs, the likes of Audi Q5, BMW X5 and Mercedes GLE. The exterior is rather sporty, attracting buyers with a massive grille, muscular shapes and wide exhaust pipes. Plus, this model sold in a diamond grille touring sport version that ups the level of meanness even higher. The Borgward BX7 is powered by sole engine option. The 2-liter turbo four-cylinder with 224 horsepower and 221 pound-feet, connected to the permanent torque-on-demand all-wheel drive. The premium cabin of the crossover reveals soft-touch materials, 12.3-inch multiple interaction infotainment and leather-wrapped seats. Finally, the interior is offered with 5, 6 and 7 passenger layouts, which is a rare display of versatility in the segment. Borgward BX6 Premiered for the 2019 model here, this is Borgward's first coupe crossover that is currently sold in China. The model is based on the BX5 SUV as well as the 2016 concept of the same name. Externally, it is distinguished from its boxy sibling by the sleek roofline, slightly redesigned bumpers and new LED lights. Since the BX6 is positioned as the GT model within the company's crossover range, it gets the most powerful engine from Borgward. Paired with a 6-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive, the 2-liter GDI Turbo nets 224 horses and 221 pound-feet of torque. Its cabin is upholstered in leather and is equipped with a modern infotainment with smartphone integration. Borgward Isabella The original Isabella was the most popular model of Borgward and it remained in production until the company's demise in 1961. No wonder that the revived brand decided to play the nostalgia card and applied the legendary moniker to its ultra-futuristic four-door coupe. Besides the name, the new model has nothing in common with the predecessor, measuring almost twice its length at 197 inches. Though not typical to the modern industry, the large emblem on the front looks rather aggressive, complementing the sleek hood and distinctively styled headlights. With no B-pillars, the Isabella features sliding doors instead. The concept's powertrain consists of two electric motors that produce 295 horsepower. The company claims 0-60 to sprint of 4.5 seconds and the top speed limited to 155 mph. Borgward BX5 The compact offering from Borgward started production in China back in 2016, and since then it has already expanded sales around the world, sharing the same but a bit shorter platform with its BX7 sibling. The BX5 boasts a confident stance and a big front grille with sporty wing lines. For Chinese customers, the BX5 is offered with a turbocharged 1.8-liter engine good enough for 188 horsepower. 
It gets a 6-speed automatic transmission and an optional all-wheel drive. Other markets, on the other hand, can also choose between a 1.4-liter and a 2.0-liter engines that produce 148 and 224 ponies respectively. Borgward BX i7 Based on the BX7 Metsais SUV, the all-electric BX i7 is already on sale in China, but rumors suggest that it might arrive to Europe and the US in 2021. It is propelled by two electric motors and a 49kWh battery that enables five driving modes, three of which are all-wheel drive. The system produces 242 horses and 281 pound-feet of torque, and according to the company, the crossover should be able to drive for 180 miles on each charge. Unlike its concept version that promised 0 to 60 mph acceleration of 6.5 seconds, the production model clocks it at 7.9 seconds. Would you agree that Borgward could become a worthy competitor to other German brands? Which one of the presented models is your top pick? Feel free to answer these questions in the comments below the video. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the notification bell and like this episode to help us grow. Follow the links on the screen for more informative content and until next time.